It's your boy Gruff here, back another video, and today I got special for you guys, man. Today we're gonna be revisiting the best team in the meta a year ago, bro. We're going to revisit the hybrid meta, bro. Uh, I know this was like maybe actually 11 months ago, actually, because when Bobble came out, he was like toward the end of June, right? But we want to revisit, bro. This team was. Insane, bro. Uh, FK was the best unit in the game, in my opinion. And when he had Future Gohan and Revival Gohan, he had a squad now. That's one of the biggest downfalls of hybrids, in my opinion, was he didn't have a squad. Him himself was just like a one-man army. But once he had these two, bro, it was insane. Like, this team had five lives. All three of them could hit hard. You had someone that could just destroy your cars. He had type neutral. All uh, Two of them could go type neutral. Extra damage to regen, extra damage to PO, bro. This team was absolutely insane. We're just gonna revisit them, bro. We're gonna see how they do back, uh, how they can do in this meta and everything, how the meta change, and can they still compete? So, Zen double Zenkai, we're gonna Zenkai buff the Revival Gohan and the FSK because those are two heavy hitting units. So, yeah, first match facing up against Future. So, now, uh, you know, one of the biggest things is that the droids actually do extra damage to pre Revival Gohan because they do extra damage to Super Saiyans and Saiyans. So, Pre Revival Gohan is Super Saiyan, and also they do extra damage to Future Gohan because Future Gohan is a Super Saiyan as well, and they're red. So, Android 17 is going to do insane damage. So, I go to the Gohan right here, pop the strike card. I'm surprised they didn't pop the blue there. So, uh, he goes to his Future Gohan, you know, pop the strike card. Then I pop the strike card there. He caught me in a combo. So, I kind of just have to let this Gohan die. That's probably the only downside of this, of my team, uh, specifically, is I have Future Gohan and Revival Gohan. At six to seven stars, which if you're facing the top meta, bro, like top top PvP, everyone's having 14 star units, and you guys see that. Like even if you go on one combo, them. like if I had him at higher stars, he would be able to tank that way way better. So I had to let him pop his first life. It was kind of a little bit nervous for him getting rushed because he does have Android. He does have Android 17 that could just no fine endurance. So. The fact that he can go here, like FSK is tanking really, really well. He goes two to 18. I'm able to get the blast cover change off, pop the main, see what he's doing. He sidestepped there, so we're finally able to get a combo going. Right type advantage because he's on the 18 side. So then I think right here, do I go? Do I pop the O? I think I pop the O card with Future Gohan. I don't want that card to go to waste. I could have went to like Revival Gohan and popped the blue card, but I was like, yo, I don't, I don't want to waste the O. So. Took him to half. Took him half. That's you know, that's not bad. I get the tap right there, so I can uh, get the damage inflicted buffs. Pop the blue card late, unfortunately, so I kind of have to let Future Gohan take this damage because Revival Gohan and FSK are really, really dangerous. So he pops the old card. He does not pop my first life off of this because he does not know if I endurance. I was expecting him to use another card before he popped the old, but I guess he didn't have enough key or something. So really weird. He pops the blue card. Instantly go with the strike card, and I think right here I go to the Gohan combo drop right here and pop the blue card to see if I can catch him slipping, which I actually do, but he actually goes to Future Gohan, so it doesn't take as much damage, unfortunately. So, pops his green card here, he's trying to form a PV, we blast match each other there, get his vanish out the way, but he gets the combo. So, I think here I just let Revival Gohan eat a little bit of some damage, then I go to FSK. So if he does rush, I can just throw in my future Gohan. So eating this damn little FSK right here, seeing what he's going to do next. He goes to 18, 18, like FSK is taking this greatly. So he rushes now, but I was able to get away with future Gohan because he's up to the unit that you want to sack off first, in my opinion, bro, because Revival Gohan can do some crazy damage, bro, post-revival. And then FS FSK is the unit that you want to use last. Like he's the person that like, all right, after this match, you know, once he kills both of my units, I still have FSK. I can still be able to make a comeback, like a 1v3 comeback. So, right here is not looking good for me. I've actually been playing terrible. Actually, this whole match, I've been playing really, really terrible right here. So, you guys see here, sized up. And we're able to take out Vegeta in two strike cards right there. Revival Gohan is still, he can still do that damage. Uh, go to a strike card there. He's able to kill future Gohan. I mean, my Revival Gohan. So, I pop the main ability here. I believe I go with a blast card right here. So I don't want to use the old card right here, but uh, unfortunately I have to. So I popped the old card, cause I thought he was gonna have like a blue card or something. I didn't want him to just nullify my old card. So we one shot him here. Uh, I chill here for a little bit. I popped the green card. I see that he's going with a mid-range strike. And I instantly just popped the rush. 
I have four strike cards in my hand. I'm just praying for RNG right now on this match. And I think he actually does not guess me. He was able to get the dub, bro. So, FSK is still pretty dangerous. I think the thing with FSK is more of, there's some units that can nullify his buffs. You know, you got like Ultra Gogeta. You have G4 with his green card. You have like Red Piccolo. You have a lot of these units that can just nullify his buffs. Like, you know, like his last damn buffs because they're not uncancelable. They're you can cancel those. You can wipe those buffs away. So it's a little bit dangerous. You have some units that do extra damage to hybrids now, like Cell. So, um, you know, it just he just not as, what I want to say, it's not like, there, there's ways to counter him. He's still tough. He's still a, a crazy unit. He's still a crack unit, but there's definitely some strong blues in this mat in this matter as well. So facing up against uh, Androids this time, and FSK, I'm letting FSK take all the damage, bro. So finally sized up there. I think I actually go to Revival Gohan have a combo drop right here. Now, Revival Gohan does do extra damage to PO. So all three of these units that he has right now are PO units. Android 21, 17, 18, and Cell. So I'm chilling here. I think I popped the main just to heal up uh, FSK because FSK took a ton of damage, a ton of damage, right? So, right, I need two more Dragon Balls. He sized up there. I should have attacked immediately. Thought he was going to size up again. He combo dropped right there, which was a really, really great play. And actually puts me in a bad position because if he does have a rush, he can just go to 18. Right there, and he pops the rush. So he's like, when you, like Future Gohan, like his, his value kind of hurts a lot because of the 17, 18, like extra damage to Super Saiyans, and then the fact that they can just, you know, another unit that just nullifies the Bible, and it's the best up in the game. So you just see this in every single match, right? So that's why I think Revival, Revival kind of like went up a little bit in value because. You know, there's really, there's only one unit that just nullifies the Bible, and that's Beerus with his blue card. You still have, like, Cell that can destroy, like, four of your Dragon Balls and stuff, but he doesn't just straight up nullify it. So, um, pop the old card there. I had a feeling he was going to play aggressive because that's what he did last time when he sized up. So, I popped the old card. I believe it does take out uh, Cell right there, which is great. I have Gohan at one health right now with his first life, so I'm trying to get as much value as possible. You guys see there, I go with the strike card. And like I said, I'm trying to get as much value with this Gohan as possible. And I'm not trying to rush this 21 because of what's name, because there's no point. I need to rush that 17 and 18 because they're definitely the most dangerous out of the two. So he goes to 17. Like I said, he's going to do extra damage to Revival Gohan, pre-Revival Super Saiyan unit, right? So uh, I know that he's going to get one combo. Like a six-star Revival Gohan is just not going to be able to tank a full combo from the best L up in the game with a feature boost of 17, 18, and the, like just their their kit is it really they just do so much damage, bro. You, you just can't really do anything about it. So I go up to the mid range area, try to pop the green card right there. I actually caught him. I didn't think I caught him. I thought he actually sized up in time. So I actually wasted my cover chains on that. But um, yeah. So waiting for him to size up, go to strike. He catches me there. Now I'm kind of nervous right here. I'm thinking like, all right, I guessed his rush. He has a great opportunity of having a second rush. So I think instantly I pop the blast card right here and we instantly just take out blue 21. So I pop the main ability here. See if he's gonna play aggressive. I pop the blast card there right here. I get him to sidestep and he instantly kills uh, Revival Gone. So here, what do I do? I think I actually just rush. I actually rush right here. And I knew that he had a second rush. I had a, had a great feeling that he had a second rush. Especially since I killed blue 21 to give death buffs to her allies and give them two more Dragon Balls. So I had a feeling that he had a second rush brewed up right there. I go to FSK, look at FSK blast damage, bro. Pop the old card. He forfeited, bro. I just want to see the LF with FSK, bro. And FSK is still dangerous, bro. Like, oh my God, like the blast damage is nuts. I don't even have like his best equipments on him, bro, or like have him at Z plus and stuff, but my goodness, FSK. He can, he's still a scary unit, bro. I'm glad that, you know, not a lot of people rock him like that besides prop. I don't really see FSK, but my goodness, he can still, he can still go. <laughs> FSK can still go for show. So we're facing another future team, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like the four, <laughs> the past two matches where we face the droids, right? So I'll go to the Revival Gohan, go to Strike. I, I, do I actually combo drop here? Yeah, combo drop right here. I thought he would go to Future Gohan. He has to go to Soto Trunks, which I was actually surprised that he did that. So going here. And I go with the strike card, had a feeling that he was going to try to do something iffy right there. Pop the blast card. Uh, we do blast match, side step, and we clash in the middle. 
I believe I actually lose it. I actually lose the winner. Let me see. Uh, we do actually lose this drop. So I think I'm right now in my mind. I'm thinking let's go to Future Gohan because just to stop his combo, he pops the green card. Go to Future Gohan. I'm thinking like, all right, bro. He hopefully he does not have a rush. So uh, I size that. I try to size that that, but he caught me there. I think he actually just kills Future Gohan, bro. Like Future Gohan has been getting murdered throughout this whole match, bro. 17, 18 is just like his kryptonite, bro. Uh, I think Future Gohan definitely takes a hit in terms of uh, in terms of his value, bro, because it's, you just have this 17, 18 that just completely counters him. So he goes for the long range blast card. As you go to long range rising rush right there, we don't get guessed. We take out his best unit. So now we do have to de deal with Sword of Trunks. Now I do have FSK. FSK can go type neutral against blue units. We have lost a battle member as well. So if I do catch that sort of whole trunks lacking, I just gotta just I just gotta take advantage of it with FSK. So I go to Revival Gohan here. I didn't want to pop the main ability. I didn't want him to go to I didn't want him to go to Future Gohan and sack him off and then lose my 20% of type neutral towards the end of the match where he can definitely still come back and win this. So I'm chilling here. I'm just slowly trying to get Sword of Hope Trunks help down. That's what I'm trying to do right now. So. I tackle him there, he pops the main ability. And here, I'm not really too worried. I can play a little bit more aggressive since I have a pre-revival state. He catches me in a combo right there. I have to let Revival Gohan take the damage. Because if I switch him, Future Gohan is type neutral right now since he didn't lose the battle member. So he instantly can just rush and can just kill my FSK. So I have to land this next combo because if I don't, then the game is basically over. So he's chilling here. I'm just really scared right now of getting, what's the name, it's just getting PV. So he pops the blast card there, I go with the strike card, and I think I'm just chilling here, I'm chilling here, right? And I'm just trying to see if I can brew up a second rush. That's all I'm thinking about right now, like brewing up a second rush. So he sidestepped there, clash in the middle, I have to win this. If I, if I lose this, the game is basically over. So unfortunately, I do win, I'm not unfortunate, but fortunately I do actually win this class right here. I pop the blast card right here, we do have our second rush. Then I pop the blast card. Then I pop the main ability. So whoever he goes to is gonna die. So I pop the oak card here. I would have let I would have let Future Gohan die. Not Sword of Hope Trunks, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I sidestep there. I pop the blue card. I believe he taps me here. Pop the green card, and I know that he's dying to use his rush. So I pop my rush as well. We clash in the middle, and the game is basically over. He's there's no way he's gonna kill. FSK full health without his ultimate card without nothing bro like he needed that rush to kill FSK and we just clashed in the middle so I'm just basically just neutrified his rush and he pops the blue card and the game is basically over FSK is carrying us bro like LeBron did with the Cavs bro that in 2018 yeah 2018 and yeah so you know what I'm saying? But we actually got the dub, you know what I'm saying? You know, I love I love LeBron James. He's 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 my he's my GOAT, but you know, FSK, you know, he he's he's winning, bro. He's winning. So last match facing up against Vegeta Clan. So this guy just come and counters me. He has F he has two endurance units. He has he just he just colors counter me, bro. You guys see Shorter Hulk Trunks against against FSK. He has Revival Gohan against no, Evolution Vegeta against Revival Gohan and Ape Vegeta against Future Han. So here, I just kind of had to just keep trimming down his health in terms of Vegeta, like Ape Vegeta and Sword of Trunks, bro. And then pop an old card with Revival Guard just to nullify the endurance. Here, he goes to Ape Vegeta. You know, he's going gonna to do extra damage to Sun Family Unit. So I just switched to FSK now. FSK is going to think way better than um, the Future Gohan. So, like, the, like, like Ape Vegeta is doing absolutely nothing there. He goes to Sword of Trunks. And I believe I'm just chilling here. He's just trying to see if he can get a PV. And I'm thinking he might have a blue card. But he goes with a full range strike. I was not expecting that, not gonna lie. So go to Future Gohan just to stop this combo, bro. And I'm surprised that he was able to get another strike card off of that. I was really confused, like how. But um, yeah, I popped the blast card there. I just need to get a combo going, which I do right here. And I think I go to the go yeah, I go to Revival Gohan, and then I go with the strike card, seeing what he's gonna do. So I just chill here. Can't really do much. I can't just rush somebody because I don't have just someone that just nullifies endurance just by breathing. So um, I kind of just played a little bit more slow pace. So blast match him there. Trying to, like I said, I'm just trying to get more combos in him. So he was trying to pop the green card. Does not work for him. I'm slowly trimming down eight Vita's first life. 
he has to go to Sword Hope Trunks, which I was actually surprised that he did that. Uh, I thought he was going to go to like Evolution Vegeta, so I'll tap him out there. He wants me to be trying to bait me out, so I got to just play a lot more passive, bro. So sidestep, we do catch him in the combo there. He gets his gauge. Then I go to FSK just to do a little bit some more damage, and I'm just chilling here. I know he wants to play aggressive, so I pop the green card, ready for the sidestep. I thought he was going to go with a full range strike once again, but he doesn't. So I go to Gohan, tap him out there, and I set up sidestep right there, but uh, he did catch me there. And Future Gohan is not looking the best for him because... He has, he has all three of them can know if I endure it. So I gotta, I gotta get him out the way. He does go to Evolution Vegeta and Rise of Rescue. So what Evolution Vegeta does is, I believe he takes two Dragon Balls and he goes type neutral against red for 30 time accounts. If he does, if he pops a revival. So um, him rushing right here is not a bad idea because he does go type neutral against arguably the, my strongest unit in the game, in, in my team for 30 time accounts. And he destroys two Dragon Balls, I believe, right? Yeah, he destroys two Dragon Balls and go type neutral against red for 30 time accounts. So, not a bad revival benefit for taking out a revival. So, first life. So, type neutral. I gotta have to be careful with him. He's kind of pretty dangerous now. He pops the main ability. And right here, I believe I sized up out of there. Go to FSK, pop the strike. I could have just stayed in revival Gohan. So, instantly pop Vegeta's first life. I'm surprised he didn't switch into Sword of Trunks. I guess because... He was scared of me popping my main ability and just erasing them, which makes sense. But he does have he does have this uh this evolution Vegeta that's that's still type neutral for for a good minute. So I popped the blast card. I kinda have to stay in with future Gohan right here. Pop the blue card here. Then I switch over to see what he's doing. Thought he was gonna play a lot more aggressive there, get his vanish out the way. And I sidestep. So he catches me there. Then he catches me with a second sidestep. I should have just played aggressive. And look at the damage he's doing, bro. So, insane damage. I think I actually, yeah, I actually have to let him go right here. And I pop the green card, so we're still tight neutral. He's still tight neutral. I go to strike card, and as soon as he popped the old card, the tight neutral goes away, so it does not kill this FSK. Like, if it was still tight neutral, FSK would have probably died, in my opinion. But it was just, we just, perfect timing, bro. Perfect timing. So, I pop the blast card, he pops his blue card. Now I just need to get a combo going. If I get a combo going, and I just go to FSK and pop my old, uh, pop my old card, I instantly just kill this sort of trunks. But here I just rushed. The reason why I rushed because I'm just like, if he doesn't guess me and I can get him down to first life, that'll be really really good. So when I do pop my old card FSK, this dude is already at his last life, or I can just kill him now, like with this next combo, and then I can just deal with Evolution Vegeta with FSK. But um. He instantly pops the old card, which is a smart idea. I don't have my, I don't have no vanish. So now it is a 1v2. I pop the main ability, type neutral for 20 time accounts. So I tackle here, pop the old card. He taps me out there. So I pop the blast card here, get rid of his vanish. He's doing his damage evolution Vegeta. And now I'm just thinking, does this guy have a second rush? Because there's no way evolution Vegeta, I'm not scared of evolution Vegeta. I'm not scared of Soto Hope Trunks right now for 20 time accounts. So. Right here, I actually terrible on the clash. So I'm thinking, does this guy have a second rush? That's the only way I believe he's gonna beat me. Either he milks this this 20 time encounter to my to my to my what's name goes away, to my tight neutral goes away, or he just has another rush. So I popped the green card there. I sized up. He had another rush, so I knew he had another rush. And now we take out sort of hope trunks. The game is basically over. He doesn't have a second rush. He can two type neutral off the blue card, but uh, like he's just not gonna be able to get it done with Evolution Vegeta. Evolution Vegeta defense sucks, and that's the match. So you know the hybrid meta, like they okay, but they're definitely not the top dog like they once was, man. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and more. Girl, man, I'm out.